The engineers are having a race today. Use the arrows to choose an engine to race. This is the dinosaur train. It's powered by steam. Water turns into steam when it's heated up, so look for water towers along the track to give your steam a boost. So this is the Zeppelin. Its balloon is full of hot air that keeps it up, and it uses a propeller to move forward. It's not as fast as the trains, so pilot the Zeppelin into wind currents to pass the competition. This is the solar train. It's powered by sunlight. The sun's energy is stored in a battery to keep this train powered. So stay in the sunlight to keep this train running quickly. This is the rocket train. It is rocket powered. It does best on straightaways, so watch for straight runs of track to give this train a speed boost. This is the dy- Let's practice driving the dinosaur train. When the light turns green, press the power button to power your train. When the track branches, choose which way you want to go. Press the down arrow to take the lower path, or press the up arrow to choose the upper path. Keep an eye out for water towers to boost your steam. Look for signs like this one, so you will know which way to go. Ready, set, go! Press the power button to power your train. Track branches ahead. Press the down arrow to take the lower path, or press the up arrow to choose the upper path. There's a water tower ahead. Choose the upper path to boost your steam. That's it! That was a great practice run! Ready, set, go! Yeah! Awesome! train pulls ahead. The dinosaur train finished in first place. Way to go! You get a gold medal. Choose race to try again. If you want to try another train, select the blue button. This is the Zeppelin. Its balloon is full of hot air that keeps it up, and it uses a propeller to move forward. It's not as fast as the trains, so pilot the Zeppelin into wind currents to pass the competition. Select the practice button to try out this engine before you race. Ready, set, go! Press the power button to make the Zeppelin go up. Stop pressing the power button to go down. Use the wind currents to go faster. Try to keep the Zeppelin in the wind currents. Great job! You're 
You're doing great. That was a great practice run. Choose practice to try again. Select race if you're ready to race with the Zeppelin. If you want to try another train, select the blue button. Ready, set, go! You're in the lead! The Zeppelin finished in second place. Ready, set, go! The Zeppelin pulls ahead. The Zeppelin finished in first place. Way to go! You get a gold medal. Choose race to try it. The end. This is the rocket train. This is the dinosaur train. This is the Zeppelin. It's balloon. This is the... Let's practice driving the solar train. When the light turns green, press the power button to power your train. When the track branches, choose which way you want to go. Press the down arrow to take the lower path, or press the up arrow to choose the upper path. Watch out for shadowy forests and stay in the sunlight so your battery can stay charged. Look for signs like this one so you will know which way to go. Ready, set, go! Press the power button to power your train. The track branches ahead. Press the down arrow to take the lower path, or press the up arrow to choose the upper path. There's a shadowy forest ahead. Choose the upper path to stay in the sunlight. That was a great practice run. Choose practice to try. Ready, set, go. Yeah! The solar train finished in first place. Way to go! The engineers, this is the rocket train. Let's practice driving the rocket train when the light turns green.
Ready, set, go! Press the power button to power your train. The track branches ahead. Press the down arrow to take the lower path, or press the up arrow to choose the upper path. There's a straight run of track ahead. Choose the lower path to boost your speed. That was a great practice run. Ready, set, go! Awesome! The rocket train finished in second place. Great job. You get a silver medal. Ready, set, go. Awesome. The rocket train finished in third place. Nice work. Ready, set, go! Awesome! The rocket train finished in second place. Ready, set, go! Yeah! The rocket train finished in first place. Way to go! You get a gold medal! We've got to be in balance with the other team. This one's all about weight. Weight is a measure of how heavy something is. In this game, small dinosaurs weigh a little and big dinosaurs weigh a lot. 
And this means big dinosaurs weigh more than small dinosaurs. Tap the dinosaurs to add them to the rope. Tap them again to take them off the rope. The most dinosaurs you can add to the rope is four. Add dinosaurs to the rope until the weight of your team equals the weight of the other team. Remember, the most you can use is four. You'll know the two sides are equal when the leaf is right above the dinosaur's head. So close he can eat it. <laughs> oh, our team is too heavy. It needs less weight. Tap a dinosaur to take him off the rope. Remember, you may also need to add a... Way to go, team! We did it! There's one round left. Our team is too light. It needs more weight. Try changing the dinosaurs on the rope. Oh, our team is too heavy. It needs less. The closed doors get the gold. Our competitors are getting thirsty, folks. Let's get everyone hydrated at the hydration station. Watch me first, kids. First, tap an eggshell, then hold it under the water to fill it. Next, move the eggshell to a watering hole and tap to pour the water in the hole. The bigger the egg, the more water it can hold. Match the size of the egg to the size of the hole. Small hole, small egg. Big hole, big egg. Ready? Give that thirsty dinosaur some water. <laughs> there are two holes and two dinosaurs. Match the size of the egg to the size of the hole. Next time, try using a smaller egg to fill a small hole with water. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. Now there are three holes and three dinosaurs. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. Now there are five holes and five dinosaurs. Match the size of the egg to the size of the hole. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. That egg held the right amount of water to fill that hole. Great job! Those thirsty dinosaurs got plenty of water! On with the games! The Claw Stars are going for the gold in Dinosaur Dive! Volume is the amount of space something takes up. Let's look at our diving team. The small dinosaurs will move the smallest amount of water. The medium dinosaurs a medium amount of water and the large dinosaurs a large amount of water. 
Let's warm up. Tap a dinosaur to take a practice dive. Since that was a large dinosaur, the water level went up a lot. Tap another dinosaur. Since that was a medium dinosaur, the water level went up a medium amount. The warm-up is over, folks. Let the game begin. Okay, team. We have to win four dives. Here's the target mark. Tap one dinosaur whose size will raise the water to level three. Good job, team! Here's the target mark. Tap one dinosaur whose size will raise the water to level one. Oops! The water level's too high! Try choosing a smaller dinosaur. Good job, team! Okay, team. It's getting harder now. Here's the target mark. Tap two dinosaurs whose total size will raise the water to level six. Tap another dinosaur. Yeah! Yeah! Good job, team! Here's the target mark. Tap two dinosaurs whose total size will raise the water to level nine. Tap another dinosaur. Yeah! Yeah! Good job, team! Yeah! Yeah! There we have it, folks! Some magnificent dives by the Claw Stars! They've won the gold! First, click the space where you want your dinosaur to start. That's it. The further back you start, the further your dinosaur will fly. Now, tap the green Go button. You did it! Let's take a practice run. First, tap the space where you want your dinosaur to start. You moved your dinosaur one space. If you change your mind, you can tap a diff. You moved your you moved your di you moved your you moved your dino you moved your dino you moved your dinosaur eight. You moved your dinosaur nine spaces. If you you moved your dinosaur ten spaces. If you change your mind, you can tap a different space to move your dinosaur. Now tap the green go button. That's it. The further back you start, the further your dinosaur will fly. Take one more practice flight and try to fly as far as you can. You moved your dinosaur. You moved your dinosaur. You moved your dinosaur. Three spaces. The other team will fly first. To win the gold, follow my instructions. I'll tell you where to land. I want you to land closer to the cliff than the other dinosaur did. You moved your dinosaur three. You moved your dinosaur five spaces. You did it! Here goes the other team. I want you to land as close as possible to the other dinosaur. You moved your dinosaur three spaces. Great flying! Time for the last round. Here goes the other team. I want you to land in between the cliff and the other dinosaur. You moved your dinosaur four spaces. First, the other team will fly first. 
To win the gold, follow my instructions. I'll tell you where to land. I want you to fly farther than the other dinosaur did. You, you moved your dinosaur 10 spaces. If you change your mind, you can tap a different space to move your dinosaur. You did it! Here goes the other team. I want you to land closer to the tree than the other dinosaur did. You moved your dinosaur. Ten. You moved your dinosaur. Nine. Spaces. If you change your mind, you can tap a different space to move your dinosaur. Great flying! Time for the last round. Here goes the other team. I want you to land in between the tree and the other dinosaur. You moved your dinosaur six spaces. If you change your mind, you can tap a different space to move your dinosaur. And the four stars take the gold from the prehistoric predators, folks. What a game! To win the gold in this game, the claw stars have to make it through three legs of an obstacle course. Good luck! Okay, team, let's go! Tap a dinosaur that can fit through those small tunnels. Tap to move forward. Here's the next part of the course. Tap a dinosaur that can run under those hurdles. Tap to move forward. Okay, team, last section. We're almost to the gold. Tap a dinosaur that can make it over those big walls. Tap to move forward. And this triathlon is history, folks, with the four stars taking the gold. What an exciting game! We're headed underground in the drill train to search for fossils. You want to come along? Hit the button to get digging. Here we are! Try to find all of the fossils hidden in the loose dirt. Touch and hold your finger on the screen, and the drill train will move towards your finger. Guide the train to uncover the fossils. There are seven fossils in this area. Let's find them all. Watch the fossil -o meter The brighter the meter is, the closer you are. The drill strength meter shows how much more we can drill. If it runs out, we'll need to return to the surface for repairs, so keep an eye on it. Look, there's a mineral over there. We can collect minerals to strengthen the drill so we drill farther. When the fossilometer is lit up, it means there's a fossil around here somewhere. Keep digging. Hardened dirt takes longer to dig through. Uh-oh, our drill is almost worn out. 
Is there a mineral nearby? Great! A mineral! That'll strengthen our drill. Right now, we're digging in the Earth's crust, the outermost layer of the Earth. Yay! You found a fossil! Now let's find the rest of them. Hey, there's a troglobite. Troglobites are creatures that live in dark caves. Maybe it'll know where we can find some fossils. Watch out, our drill is wearing down. We better hurry up and find all the, you found all the fossils. <laughs> nice digging. Let's see how many fossils we found. We found seven fossils. Perfect, but there are still more fossils to be found. Tap the button to find a new place to dig or tap on a fossil to learn more about it. Here we are. There are eight fossils in this area. Let's find them all. Keep an eye on the drill. If it wears out, we'll have to return to the surface for repairs. When the fossilometer is lit up, it means there's a fossil around here somewhere. Watch out, our drill is wearing down. We better hurry up and find all the fossils. You found a fossil. Now let's find the rest of them. Ooh, look at the swirly shell. The troglobite says there's a fossil in that direction. Let's go find it. This animal use the flaps on its sides like fins to swim through the water. It's a fossil of a brittle star. These still exist today. Uh-oh, our drill is almost worn out. You found all the fossils. <laughs> nice digging. Let's see how many fossils we found. We found eight fossils. Perfect, but there are still more fossils to be found. Tap. Here we are. There are nine fossils in this area. Let's find them all. Keep an eye on the drill. If it wears out, we'll have to return to the surface for repairs. When the fossilometer is lit up, it means there's a fossil around here somewhere. That'll make our drill last even longer. The deeper you dig into the earth, the hotter it gets. Troglobite says there's a fossil in that direction. Let's go find it. Yay! You found a fossil. Now let's find the rest of them.
Watch out, our drill is wearing down. We better hurry up and find all the fossils. A mineral! That'll make our drill last even longer. like a plant, but it doesn't have any leaves, flowers, or roots. Interesting. Uh-oh, our drill is almost worn out. Is there a mineral nearby? our drill. We found all the fossils. <laughs> nice digging. Let's see how many fossils we found. We found nine fossils. Perfect! But there are still more fossils to be found. Tap the button to find a new place to dig. Or... Here we are! There are 10 fossils in this area. Let's find them all. Keep an eye on the drill. If it wears out, we'll have to return to the surface for repairs. When the fossilometer is lit up, it means there's a fossil around here somewhere. You found a fossil. Now let's find the rest of them. The troglobite says there's a fossil in that direction. Let's go find it. Fossilized seashells. Watch out, our drill is wearing down. We better hurry up and find all the fossils. A mineral! That'll make our drill last even longer. Lots of tiny little leaves. Generally, the deeper a fossil is buried, the older it is. Oh, our drill is almost worn out. Is there a mineral nearby? Great! A mineral! That'll strengthen our drill. Troglobite says there's a fossil in that direction. Let's go find it! Uh-oh, our drill is almost... We found all the fossils! <laughs> nice digging! Let's see how many fossils we found. We found 10 fossils. Perfect! But there's still more. Here we are! There are 11 fossils in this area. Let's find them all. Keep an eye on the drill. If it wears out, we'll have to return to the surface for repairs. 
when the fossilometer is lit up, it means there's a fossil around here somewhere. Yay! You found a fossil. Now let's find the rest of them. That is a big fish. It might even be longer than the drill train. Uh-oh, our drill is almost worn out. Is there a mineral nearby? A mineral! That'll make our drill last even longer. Uh-oh, our drill is almost worn out. Is there a mineral nearby? Great! A mineral! That'll strengthen our drill. It looks like a plant but it doesn't have any leaves, flowers, or roots. Interesting. Watch out, our drill is wearing down. We better hurry up and find all the fossils. Fossilized seashells. <laughs> oh no, our drill is worn out. I guess that's all the fossil hunting we'll do today. Let's see how many fossils we found. We found eight fossils. Nice work. Our drill is worn out, so this will be the end of our fossil adventure. If you want to play again, Tap the button to return to the surface. Buddy's Big Camp Out Adventure. Press the play button to start. Hello, folks. It's me again, the conductor. We are so excited. Tonight, our family and friends are going to a camp out. Buddy wants to make sure everyone has what they need to go camping. Let's help Buddy get the campsite ready. Gilbert thinks some large ferns would be nice for a tent. They give us shade from the sun and keep us dry if it rains. Collect five of these for the campfire. Tap up to get Buddy to jump up. Fun fact, scientists believe that the Alphadon may have had a small pouch where they kept their little babies, much like a kangaroo does today. We gathered all the ferns! You did it! King Cryolophosaurus is a carnivore. He eats meat. He'd like thin sticks to roast meat over the fire.
Fun fact, Lambiosaurus were big, 40 to 50 feet long, and may have weighed five tons. That's as much as several school buses. Mom Pteranodon asks Buddy to collect firewood since everyone enjoys a campfire. Rex means Lizard King. Hey! Yep. Hi! Great night, thanks to you and Buddy. You gathered ferns for Gilbert. You gathered sticks for King Cryolophosaurus. You gathered firewood for Mrs. Pteranodon. Now let's all enjoy the campfire together with our family and friends. and I are having a competition. Do you want to help out? We're going rafting down the river to find bugs for Dawn's collection. And whoever finds the most bugs wins. Click or tap the top button if you want to play by yourself. Click or tap the bottom button if you're playing with a friend. Alrighty then, we're in the river. Before we start, do you remember how to paddle? Your raft has two paddles. One on each side. These buttons control your paddles. Press one button to paddle on one side and make the... Ready, set, go! the river through a process called erosion.
Reservoirs are habitats for many plants and creatures that are specialized for living in the water. enough to make big waves and even waterfalls called rapids. Great job! You found the most insects. How about a rematch? Click or tap here if you want to play again, or click or tap here to try a different game. Laramidia, the dinosaur big city. Everyone's here for the Theropod Convention. King Cryolophosaurus is supposed to sing. But he got spooked by the big crowds and ran off. He's really scared of crowds, you know. I've got to find King somewhere in the city and take him to the convention. Use your finger to touch the direction you want me to go. Uh, sorry, I, I ran off back there, buddy. I, I kind of lost my head, you know. Well, there's a huge crowd of dinosaurs around here. Don't worry, King. Be brave. Now we need to get you to the Theropod Convention. Uh, <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Hi, Argentinosaurus. Tell me about yourself. Us Argentinosaurus are herbivores. We love leaves. You got any leaves? Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus. Tell me about yourself. I'm a theropod, like you, buddy. I have lots of teeth for eating meat. Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus. Tell me about yourself. I'm a theropod, like you, buddy. I have big legs with three-toed feet. Welcome, theropods and assorted dinosaurs. Without further ado, I give you King Cryolophosaurus. Uh, ha ha! Hit it, man! Laramidia, the dinosaur big city. Everyone's here for the theropod convention. King Cryolophosaurus is supposed to sing. But he got spooked by the big crowds and ran off. He's really scared of crowds, you know. I've got to find King somewhere in the city and take him to the convention. Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus. Tell me about yourself. I'm a theropod, like you, buddy. I have a long tail for balancing. Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus. Tell me about yourself. I'm a theropod, like you, buddy. I have a great sense of smell. Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus. Tell me about yourself. I'm a theropod, like you, buddy. I have a long tail for balancing. Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus. Tell me about yourself. I'm a theropod, like you, buddy. I have a long tail for balancing. Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus. 
Tell me about yourself. I'm a theropod, like you, buddy. I have a long tail for balancing. Hi, Argentinosaurus. Tell me about yourself. Us Argentinosaurus are herbivores. We love leaves. You got any leaves? Hi, Argentinosaurus. Tell me about yourself. Us Argentinosaurus are herbivores. We love leaves. You got any leaves? Hi, Argentinosaurus. Have you seen King? I'm so tall, I can see King Krylophosaurus right now. He's over there! Whoa! Look at Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus! Tell me about yourself! I just finished my migration! All of us T-Rexes migrate to search for meat! Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus! Tell me about yourself. I just finished my migration. All of us T-Rexes migrate to search for meat. Uh, sorry, I, I ran off back there, buddy. I, I kind of lost my head, you know. Well, there's a huge crowd of dinosaurs around here. Don't worry, King. Be brave. Now we need to get you to the theropod convention. Uh, <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Everyone's waiting for us at the theropod convention. We've got to find the Theropod Convention! Uh, I gotta get out of here! Hi, Boris Tyrannosaurus! Tell me about yourself. I just finished my migration. All of us T-Rexes migrate to search for meat. Welcome, theropods and assorted dinosaurs. Without further ado, I give you King Cryolophosaurus. Uh, ha -ha! Hit it, man! <laughs> <laughs> 